portion is going to be uh, shared by our wonderful Ben Kirkland. For those of you who don't know him, he is a full-time uh, instructor at our Drop Zone. Uh, not only is he a recent graduate of the P PFF program, he's a CSPA coach too. Uh, he's a tandem instructor and he is one badass skydiver, um, not only in the air, but on his landings too. So there's two portions he'll be talking about where he's gonna talk about the portion in the air and as well under canopy. Um, and so these are the two sections Ben will share on. I'm gonna stop sharing this. Ben, the floor is all yours. Hi. Hi, Ben. Uh, so for in the air, uh, as soon as we leave the plane, it doesn't matter like if you're free flying or belly flying or if you're solo or whatever you're doing, just fly to your plan. So just make sure you have your plan and that's what you're going to do in your jump and it'll make sure that you're nice and prepared for the free fall. Um, so as we leave the plane, if you're in a group of people, <clears throat> uh, do your best to get that good presentation and to wind. Uh, and if you're kind of going all over the place, just keep trying because uh, it can be a bad thing to like ball up or and become that meat missile. So think about that. Um, After uh, you find stability, depending on if you're in a group or if you're by yourself, well, if you're in a group, you're going to want to approach the your groups, same thing. It doesn't matter what kind of flying you're doing, just approach your groups with caution and um, in steps. So. Uh, you know, fly down, uh, just take it in steps. Don't come in like crazy fast into your group because you want to be the first one there. Uh, just make sure you're taking it easy and a good uh, thing that all of us practice is... Um, and they're talking about skydive safety. It can be entertaining. Is... Uh, is a flyer slot no oh hold on i had it slot dock um slot dock well you want to go in and fly your slot uh, and then once you're in your slot, then you can make your dock. So uh, just make sure that you're not reaching and grabbing and level slot dock. Thanks, Wade. <laughs> it just, I have had a blank mind there for a second. Uh, yeah, so get to your level. Once you're on level with your group, then you can approach and fly into your slot and then you can dock. So just taking it all nice and slow, nice and safe. Um, through everything, we're gonna wanna stay height aware. So I know that's a big thing that um, Allison wants to cover. So all of us wanna be height aware throughout the free fall. Uh, it's important because, you know, we don't want to be setting off our cypresses or anything crazy like that. Um, so we just want to use our tools that we have, like we can see the ground. So altitude awareness, checking our alties, using our audibles, um, you know, and taking that into account when uh, we come close to break off time. Uh, so 
we want to look watch out for each other in free fall as well. Uh, so basically, we're all watching out for each other, and but sometimes we can't. So say if you're behind someone, just know that that person can't see you, and just expect that they don't know where you are. So you know, approach with caution. Because, uh, you know, they may, I don't know, catch some air and go up and hit you. The main thing we want to avoid in free fall is collisions. So, um, yeah, just make sure you're aware that everybody has blind spots and, you know, we're dealing with high speeds. So just watch out for each other. Um, Another thing we want to be watching out for each other in free fall is just unusual situations like, um, you know, handles off or just keep vigilant and, you know, watch out for each other. Uh, you also, also, we're going to want to not be flying above or below anyone because that's obviously a dangerous place to be. Um, if you're flying above someone, you can get in their burble and then crash into them, and that's a can be bad, can be a bad collision. Um, also, you can have premature openings, which has happened before, where someone opens and un, like unusually and uh, you know, hits someone and that's no good either. <laughs> um, so yeah, be vigilant about where you are in the sky, really. Um, staying out of people's burbles. So going back to uh, level slot dock and, uh, you know, nice, easy approaches. Um, So uh, as we come close to break off time, let's make sure that we uh, are giving ourselves ample time for break off. So, um, you know, think like you, everybody wants to track hard for at least five seconds, which is about a thousand feet. Uh, so give yourself Think about when you're, you want to be opening. opening. Um, so basically, just give yourself ample time to get yourself away from groups and um, opening on time. So we all want to, I mean, be licensed to de-license wants to be open by 2,500 feet. So, and that's open. So uh, give yourself ample time for that. And students, you know, make sure you're giving yourself students and ACOPs, make sure you're open by 3,000 feet and um, tandems and so on. Um, <clears throat> so for all the different disciplines, let's just make sure that, you know, we're ready for what we're doing and uh, you know, ask your coaches and about free flying and tracking. And, you know, we have, we have camps that are going on. So make sure that uh, you're getting good instruction about those disciplines. And, you know, when you, when you start getting into tracking and free flying, just it's a lot higher speeds and a lot higher can be a lot higher consequences as well with body collisions so just make sure you're ready follow your pin, uh your bsrs basic safety rules um so when you are after our break off and you have given yourself a good track away from our groups 
Um, make sure you're also waving off and just keeping your head on a swivel. Uh, it's I know it's hard to look above you, but um, waving off is a good it's a good way to just in case someone is right above you, they know that you're about to open and they can uh, get out of your way. Uh, so, yeah. Um, once we are opening our parachutes, we're going to want to be ready for uh, anyone like all the other parachutes around. So as we are doing our um, our checks, we also want to have our hands up and on the ready to uh, to avoid a canopy collision. Um, and uh, yeah, so keeping your hands up on the rear riser as you're doing your checks and just keeping your head on a swivel, looking around. Um, look before you turn, it's a big one. Uh, and as you're going into your holding area, you know, keep things into account. You know, if you're with wing loadings and, uh, you know, set yourself up for, um, good, uh, a good approach into your landing pattern. Uh, so remember that um, we don't want to be doing anything too like unexpected. Like I know, you know, some drop zones. I know when the sky van's there, there's a lot of parachutes in the air. So we don't want to be doing like crazy 360s, you know, all the way down to our pattern height or uh, anything like that. Just keep it safe. Like, you know, have fun, but also remember that there's other parachutes in the sky. And if, if you end up hitting someone, it could end up really bad. So <clears throat> also remember that we have students in the air and uh, also tandems that have a little bit less uh, maneuverability than uh, the sport, our sport jumpers. Um, so just make sure that we're giving them the right of way uh, so that we can all have nice, safe landings. Um, I don't want to go too far into the landing pattern because I think that's for Danny. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants to ask any questions, you can probably help me out a little bit. <laughs> uh, go for it. Thanks, Ben. I love, I put Ben on the spot about presenting and he's very shy, but you did a great job. I know Thanks. there's so much knowledge <laughs> up there and it's such a big, big, big topic. So, um, so first off, thank you very, very much. Um, does anybody have any questions for Ben? One thing I do want to just highlight that he did talk about was, um, if you're starting a new discipline or you're kind of progressing in a discipline, ask for guidance from a coach, from someone who's experienced in that discipline. It's a really important thing. Um, sometimes we can all create these awesome ideas of what we think, you know, back flying should look like, but we, we have really, really good coaches and instructors utilize them. It's worth yeah. the money to pay for a coach jump. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's pretty so. easy to just follow the um, basic safety rules on like when you should start and all that stuff. And also asking, just being like, hey, do you think I'm ready for zip flying? And, and you know, we'll just explain like, oh, you got to do this, this and this before. And 
maybe you should start with this or something, you know? Absolutely. And you made a good point as well. Um, I know for us and many other drop zones, there are some great camps out there. Um, so, you know, budget for that. You learn, I know the people who took uh, your camp last year for tracking learned a ton and there's some for intermediate, there's some for advanced um, in all different disciplines. So definitely some really good points that you um, kind of dialed into because obviously it's hard to do all the little specifics about all the disciplines and safety. So um, anyone have any questions for Ben? We're good. Ben, thank you. Uh, I appreciate Thanks. your time and uh, you can, I'm going to, you can mute yourself now. <laughs>